Okay, now I just want to share a couple of production techniques with you. In a previous video, another video series, I shared with you one of my favorite extensions here. It's under the, I'm going to put a link to the extension in the description of this video. It's going to be, now, I'm producing these videos today, so by the time you watch these videos, I might not have the link inside of the description tag, but it should be there by the end of today, which is uh, April 10th. Is it April 10th? Yes, it is. April 10th. Okay, good for me. All right, nine days post April Fool's Day. Anyway, I just want to share with you that I use this little insert uh, widget that I use quite a bit. Now, the only unfortunate thing here, I forgot to install the widget for this particular lesson. So in the next video, I will have the widget installed when it does, and it's an extension that puts dummy text on the page. So I don't have to go to an outside website and copy and paste. You can do it right from the site itself. So it's a really cool little feature that I'll explain. And I'll have the link to it too. It puts in unordered list and things like that. So you don't have to sit there and type from scratch. So it's a very, very productive tool. Now, what we need to do now is because we now have our div tags, now we have to set them up with dimensions, height, width, etc., etc., using our what? Using our trace image. So now we can go call back the trace image. So if I go to trace image and I say show that that girl with the big smile appears, it's like, where did she come from? Okay, now here's a bit of a problem. Okay. Now, we can solve this problem very simply by selecting the wrapper tag. So I'm going to select the wrapper tag. Wrapper tag is now selected. Hang on one second. The wrapper tag is now selected. So therefore, the wrapper tag can be affected. Now, we can do this. We can do this. We can select the wrapper tag. We can go to view. We can go to trace image. And we can say align with selection. Now, that's going to take the trace image and put it right inside of this div tag. Okay. Now, here's a bit of a problem with this. Well, it's not a bit of a problem. But it's typically what we're from the top up for the top left of your page here. So we can solve that problem. Let's actually go with this technique. Again, I physically selected the wrapper div tag. And I went up to view. And I went to trace image. And I say, fine with selection. What selection? The selection I just made, which is the wrapper tag. Now, zero, 0, is over here. I want zero, 0, to be right here. So how do I do that? I can just click on my top left-hand corner and make this right here be zero, 0, So zero, 0, is right there on the money. Okay? So we set up the wrapper tag originally to the entire width of the site. Okay? So let's basically get the wrapper tag so it matches the width of the site. How wide is the site? Well, let's find out. We can take our guides. Now, if you don't have your rulers up here, what you want to do here is bring up your rulers, command option. R brings up rulers, command option. R closes rulers. Windows control, alt R. It's a toggle. So I'm going to take a guide and I'm going to put a guide right there. Now, if you want this guide exactly to be at zero, you can just double click and I'm going to type in zero. Then I'm going to put a guide exactly right here that's a quarter inch down. Again, if you want your quarter inch, your, your, picks, your guide to be exactly a quarter inch down, then you'd put in, um, now that's very strange. Why is it not? Hang on one second here. Yeah. I just found it funny that the uh, wrapper text 18 pixels down. We're just going to set our guide right here. Now, how wide is our site? Well, let's check that out, too. Let's take our guide and drag our guide out to the edge here. Now, if you want to get it exactly, what you can do is basically use the original comp you created and get the dimensions from there. We're just going to eyeball this. So this is a 1,000 pixels. So that means we need to double-click our wrapper div tag, come back into the box settings, and change this to 1,000. Now, very important step here. I do not give my wrapper tag a padding or margin space other than the top. I'm not going to pad it. I'm going to line it to the left and align it to the right with my margin. 
and drop it down from the top. I never get my wrapper tag padding. I let the container tags do the padding. Okay. Now, what that did here is that moved my comp here. So a simple fix, simple fix. We're going to select the wrapper div tag. We're going to go back up here to view. We're going to select trace image and we're going to say align with selection. Boom, problem solved. Okay. Now, unfortunately, this is not zero, zero. We're going to take our rulers and put them right there at zero, zero. Make a change, save a change. Now, the rest is going to be total, total child's play. This is going to be so simple. It's frighteningly simple. So let's understand something. Okay, how big is the logo div tag going to be? How, how high is it going to be? Well, let's think about this. Let's just take a guide and drag from point A to point B. So let's say right about there, right above the, where the navigation site nav goes, so if I hold down the command key on Macintosh or the control key Windows, watch what happens. Absolute magic. Hold down the command key. Boom. How big is my div tag going to be? According to this, 111 pixels. It's right there on 11 pixels. Now, if this helps you a little bit by basically making your tracing image fade out a little bit, here's how we can do that. Command J, Command J, we can say, Tracing image, Command J, Control J, Windows, we can just change the opacity of this down a little bit. So it just fades it out a little bit, so it doesn't get it away as much. Okay. Now the other thing we can do too is under here, we can hide the visual aids. So we can hide the visual aids here. So now it's not going to hide the guides, it's going to hide like the marks for the div tags, etc., etc. Now that's a toggle. We can toggle this by hitting Command I. I use this quite a bit. Command I, Control I, Windows, Command I. It's the shortcut right there. Command Shift I. Talk on, talk off. Now, from a design standpoint, if you want to see the comp and you get a live view, you're not going to see the comp. I don't want to see the guide, so a little production technique here. Command semicolon is the same shortcut in Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, Flash. Command semicolon hides the guides. Command semicolon shows the guys. Of course, Windows, that would be control semicolon. Control semicolon hides, shows. It's a toggle. Okay? So how big is this guide going to be from point A to point B? Again, if I hold down the command key, we can see that that's going to be 111 pixels. Now, let's keep the math simple. Let's just come here and double-click that. Let's make that... Well, the location is not going to matter. But let's just make the distance between these two be 110. This so we don't have to split hairs with that here. So logo, logo, div tag. So we're going to select a tag. We're going to select a tag and make a rule. We're going to create a rule for the selected tag. Select a tag, make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. Now, if this helps your thinking, it's okay to say logo is inside of branding. That's how it's going to write the rule structure over here on the right. It's not necessary. We could simply do this. It's going to do the same exact thing. But it helps your thinking to understand and comprehend that the logo is inside of branding. Then do it that way. So we're simply going to make this branding be box height is going to be what? 110 pixels. Okay. But very important step here, I don't want my text smashing up against my box here. I want to have some kind of padding here. Just like we've done every single other video, we're going to put in, say, let's put in 15 pixels of padding as an example. Not to be confused with 150 pixels of padding. So if I hit the apply option right now, this is not 110 pixels high. This is 110 pixels high plus 15 and 15 and 30. It's actually 140. I don't want it to be 140 pixels high. I want it to be 110 because that's the distance between this point and this point. So how do I make this back to 110? I simply minus 30. For those of you who slept through, for those of you who slept through fourth math class, this is genius. I get math right here and I hit the apply option. So therefore this div tag has that height. Now, very important step here. Let's say our div tag was supposed to have a background. 
if you give the div tag a background now, the price that you're going to pay for this is it's going to cover up your trace image. I just want to share that technique with you. So in this particular case, we're not ready to put in the backgrounds our colors are div tags. So not going to put in the colors. But here's a little production technique. If I go back over here to the eyeball and I click, I want to show my visual aids. And I'm going to come back here to the eyeball again and I'm going to put CSS backgrounds. Watch what happens. Wherever I have a div tag or an HTML tag, it's going to put a different color background. Now, I want to be crystal clear about what's happening right now. This is not printable. This is not publishable. This is simply showing you where my div tags are or where my header tags are, my h1 tag, I'm sorry, my HTML5 tags are, et cetera, et cetera. And notice every time I command I, it's going to hide, show, hide, show, hide, Show command shift I control shift I for Windows. It's this guy right here. Now, if I have this checked as opposed to striped, if you have it checked as opposed to striped, just seeing if you're paying attention. Okay, notice every time I go there, it gives a different color scheme. It just does that, it doesn't publish this way. I want to be crystal clear about this. This is showing you. The division tags, the div tag, or the HTML5 tag. It's simply showing you where they're located, showing them where they're placed, showing, showing you have a float out of background color. Because in this particular case, if I give my div tags a background color, it's going to hide my comp. Therefore, it defeats the whole purpose of why I have a tracing image. So, command I toggles on, toggles off, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. In order to make this work, you have to have this box checked, not striped, checked, not striped. Just seeing if you're paying attention. So we'll finish this up in our next video.